actually sad. And this has been like a really emotional day for the past like or the past three days. <sighs> it's super sunny out here. If you are waiting, if you are waiting for your sign to get out, this is it. All right, Biden has banned African travel. Anyway, let's get right into it. I woke up seeing that travel has been banned to seven African countries. The countries are South Africa, Malawi, Botswana, Namibia, Lesotho, Eswatini, and Mozambique. So what the heck is going on? So I woke up this morning seeing an article about another, you know what, variant that is out and how the U.S. president has banned non-American citizens from traveling to. I think that the question really should be why there's so much that's still going on in the European and America's that banning travel to Africa, I think, is a lot deeper than what it really seems. It's time to get your stuff. It's time to really hear the alarm. I did a video about that before. If you hear the alarm, then you need to get it together quick, fast, and in a hurry as much as you can. And make sure that you really do your research. We really don't have much time for those who are still stuck in the West. Let's do our best to boost our immune systems. Let's do our best to keep our stress low. Let's do our best to love each other. Let's do our best to raise our vibrations higher and higher all the way to the ethers as much as possible this is something that is still really serious that's going on i don't watch american news often usually when people tell me stuff i just say wow that's crazy and then just continue living life over here in tanzania basically scientists told Biden to wait and even though there is a new strand I seriously do I feel like they're going down the Greek alphabet which I would recite from my sorority days but I have since forgotten okay but it just really seems like alpha beta you know how that goes so now we're, we are on I believe Omicron I don't know how many more strands are supposed to be getting made but this is just getting really nuts and I talked to a, a friend of mine early this morning 
and she was telling me that she has lost her job because even with her working in the medical field, she did not comply with getting the you know what. So she has since lost her job. And whether you believe one way or not about it, this I feel for a lot of people has become a sign that it's time for them to get the All right, American politics aside, I think we pretty much know what this is about and what's going on. Stack your money, get your passport, and make a plan and get the heck out. You call your brother and you tell him to come and get your shit. I don't understand why we are in so much fear. So I, I read a comment and my friend was saying that she thinks that my family is so brave for, for moving here and having all these children. I say, I think it's brave for y'all to stay there, but everyone is entitled to their opinion. It's their life. Not everyone gets the call. You can do what you want to do. So basically I'm thinking what happened with the whole administration over there and the scientists is even though this man was told to wait, it was basically, I feel like my camera's crooked. Here we go. Basically, it is a shoot first, ask questions last type thing. I think he doesn't want to be blamed for letting more variants into the country, which I'm sure are probably already there. So let's just be real. If we're gonna be real, let's be real about it. I think there's so many lies and things that are going on right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it is your job as a concerned citizen of the world to inform yourself and then make a decision based off the information and the information that you receive from the news and from all the downloads that the good Lord has given you. This is just real quick because it's, this is serious, but it's real quick. What do you need to do? Get your money right. Now, I am not rich. I keep telling y'all that. I'm not rich. We saved and we saved for like over a decade to get here. If I were still in America and I was a single person or a family, I would do, I would do whatever it took right now in order for my family to be able to leave. I said, get your stuff, get your baby and go. Yeah, we shall. What? We shall.